as we talked about before, is part of uh, the capacitive scientific principle. The sensor size is based on the following. Sensor measurement range, the measurement resolution, and the guard ring size. Typically, the guard ring thickness has to be equal to the gap. We can actually make it a little less than the gap, but good practice, good design practice, dictates that the guard ring should be about the same as the gap. The center element, of course, is going to be proportional to the gap. And then we have a third element that's called the body, and that's grounded, and that's how you grip the probe without shorting out the guard ring. Some things we also need to address is the target shape. Different shapes will create fringing effects, and typically we like to have a target that's bigger than the probe. The smallest you want to make a target is about the diameter of the probe. And we also have issues with target flatness, uh, sensor tilt angle, and target shape. For example, a round target is going to create some fringing there. Now, we can still gauge to these objects, but you need to correct them mathematically. And you can contact MTI Instruments for formulas that will help you correct gauging to small targets and also dealing with target tilt. The target material should be electrically grounded to ensure the system accuracy. The ground does not have to be a hardwire ground, although we recommend that. You can also use a low impedance ground path for um, good accuracy. MTA also has amplifiers that do not require a target ground. That's called the push-pull series. MTI manufactures a large range of different probe styles. We have uh, probes with connectors on them. We have flat style probes to fit in tight spots. We have high temperature probes. We can also make probes that will work in cryogenic and vacuum conditions. And we have a probe that is a ring shape, and that's used for examining internal screw threads 